During our last phone repair training session, we had a Galaxy S7 come into the store for screen replacement, but at the time there were no in-frame displays in stock. We wanted to preserve the original display for refurbishing since only the glass was cracked, so we decided to see how difficult it would be to remove one without cracking the AMOLED and also using no special tools. I wouldn't call it easy, but with some practice and a lot of patience, this should be doable for most technicians in under about 15 minutes. Carding by itself. Yeah, that's not going to start by itself, so. Wow, do you see that? Smallest amount of pressure, and because of that crack, the whole thing just separated. Didn't get quite all the way under. So the first layer of the screen actually came up independently. Ooh, that is super thin. See, I'm not getting underneath far enough. I'm actually going underneath the outer coating on this thing. You know what might work better? Well, the heating pad would work, but it's also going to cause the glass to want to separate. Boy, I'm not getting in there far enough. Somehow. That is so thin. Oh my gosh, that is so thin underneath there. It's nothing like the last phone we worked. Oh, it's actually coming up. But it's leaving the paint behind. That may not be a deal breaker. The only thing is, how do we get the rest of it off of the frame? I'm actually using my fingernail here. Okay, so remember we have cable here got this cable right here that we want to be very careful around and that cable that goes behind. So just like the S5, we don't want to go in too far until we've separated this. And you see the crack forming here? Mm, yeah. Did I just crack it? No, 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 that's not crack. No, okay. under the glass, but I'm not under the paint. There we go. So we want to come in here, get all the way underneath here, and now I'm kind of cutting through the paint, which is going to make it more difficult. Oh, that is a tricky one. That is tough to get all the way underneath that paint. There we go. So now, almost making it. like the paint is sticky. See that? Well, you can get behind the glass, but that paint is just peeling up inside there. That's what I'm trying to get behind, because we want the paint, we want to be under the paint, pretty sure, or just peel it all the way off. It's probably okay too, as long as we stay underneath it. I have my doubts, I have to be honest. This does not seem very straightforward at all. Okay, so I'm getting through. that that is the adhesive and the paint all at once look at this I'm actually getting the adhesive out from underneath it's 
almost like pulling that apple thing. Okay, I think I got all the adhesive out from that side. Now over here, the question is, can we get between these two? See, the glass kind of separates, but now we have that adhesive underneath there, which is not really probably a good thing. Also, we have these cables we have to watch out for. I really think I would prefer to take the battery off on this first, but let's see if we're actually underneath. If we can get underneath from here, we might be able to. Looks like the glass cracked. Did I crack it already? No, it was already cracked. No, but it looks like there's a crack yeah, inside. Yeah, it looks like crack. See that? Yeah. I think I might have cracked it down here. Can you see that, Caesar? Yeah, I think that was like that already. That, that was on top and bottom. Okay. Really? I had like a hairline. Okay, but it was still lighting up and working, yeah. right? Yeah. Cables are what I'm really worried about here. crack at the bottom. One wrong move and it's all over. Look at that. Why does it do that? Man, it's so, so lightweight. Very easy to get underneath there and separate the glass from the paint. is not what we're after because there's still adhesive and a layer of paint underneath this thing. I think the hot plate might have been a better option. I'm underneath the display see that but if I put too much pressure it's gonna crack like an eggshell in fact an eggshell is more durable than this screen <laughs> the AMOLED underneath so that's what I'm concerned with right now is staying underneath here without putting too much pressure Oof, man. sure there's an easier way to do this we've got to figure that out this more consistent but for now it seems like as I was lifting this very slowly lifting against here it started to open up I think we still have some adhesive underneath here on this side but if we can get under the corner down here almost there we go so we can start to get through this adhesive I'm 
pretty sure this can be done. But again, the amount of time and patience that goes into this process makes you wonder if you want to invest. But if we keep practicing and refining the method, I think that it will be worthwhile. Just being very careful, working back and forth. Hopefully it's not already broken, you know? That's the worst thing when you're wasting your time. Something that's already damaged, but I think we're okay here. So right now, I am that far across. And this piece is right there so I'm almost all the way through so I think if we come down on this one just work through the remainder of that adhesive we'll have most of this out of the way now we just have to be careful when we go up the side um, take a small piece of tape here so that I don't go too far because I want to make sure that I don't cut into those cables to do that I know the cable starts right here so I want to know that's about where my limit is going to be for this. I come up the side. It doesn't sound good. Okay, come down here. I think we have most of the adhesive removed, hopefully. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're good at the bottom, right? So far we're good at the bottom. Keep hearing a cracking. I think it's the adhesive. I hope it's the adhesive. The main thing is those cables, we have to watch out for the cables at the same time. So now, from here, I need to get under the cables. Right here, you see the cable? I think, I think maybe. Maybe we made it. It's hard to see. God, I keep hearing the cracking sound. I feel like I might have broke it already. I hope not. Okay. Now the question is, you know, we took some of that off. The question is, will this work? So what we need, um, after he reassembles this, we'll plug this in and see if it's still working. All right, so now we have the battery. Uh, we have logic board back inside of the housing and we're just gonna piece this together. You know what, I will go ahead and attach the power button and we'll plug in the display, the old display that we removed, hopefully, without any damage, plug in the battery, and then the moment of truth, and here's what's hard to reach, is that power button on the other side because it's under the screen. So I'm gonna take this, go inside here, and push on that. And if we're lucky, we might have done this without using a, hot, a heating plate. And I was concerned about this, but I don't think, I think we only got the paint right down here, got mm -hmm. a little bit of the paint, but the display goes to this corner. So there you go, yep, so the corners are all good. We didn't do any damage there. There is a hairline crack in the glass, but the display is still good. If that, if that crack was in the AMOLED, it wouldn't be working, guaranteed. So let's let this fire up and see if we have a touch screen. If we do, there you go. And it looks like it works. So, there you have it. Power this down. And there we go. Oh, yeah, so we're good. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to learn more about electronics repair, be sure to subscribe for future tutorials and visit my website, gocellphonerepair.com, for parts, tools, classroom training, and the phone repair podcast. Thanks for watching.